So in this video, I'll explain to you exactly why setting really, really high goals is actually much more effective even if you're, let's say, in debt or in a scarcity mindset where you just, you know, just need that $5,000 or $2,000 more or you just need to lose that 10 pounds or just finding that one girl. Even in these cases, why it's actually best and, and, and most effective to set really, really long-term, uh, super huge, massive goals. So I'll start this off by uh, quoting Bruce Lee who said famously, that goals aren't actually things that are meant to be accomplished. Of course, you would like to accomplish them, but their purpose isn't to be accomplished. Their purpose is to serve as aims. So things we can actually aim for and then, you know, hope for the best and hope we get as far out there as we can. So I want to uh, kind of use an analogy of comparing goals with destinations. And I'm talking about logistical destinations as in uh, you want to get from here to there physically um, so the, your destination your goal is going to be probably <laughs> tell me if you're a, you're a different person but it's probably going to be what actually uh, is the factor where you actually choose which type of vehicle you use so let's say that you have a small girl, a small goal, like, oh, I just need an extra $3,000 a month. Uh, this is analogous to, um, oh, I just want to go from here to the local supermarket that's a three minute walk. Now, let me ask you this. Now, obviously, I'm not saying that getting that money that you need is as easy as taking a walk to the supermarket, but I'm talking about using uh, distance of location as kind of a comparison to goals because if you look at the size of your goals I guess you would agree that wanting to have an extra 3,000 a month is really not the most uh, furthest away goal you can set it's not like like uh, aiming for a million for example it's kind of a different scope or a billion for that matter so let's say that you're planning for a trip, a small trip, because you're in scarcity. So you just need that bit of money. So you plan for a small trip. Oh, I just need that bit of money. I just need a bit more money and then I'll be happy. That will fix my problems. Now, if you plan on a small trip to the supermarket that takes three, four minutes, which vehicle are you most likely to use? Are you going to get a car? Uh, I really don't think so. Like it's very rare that you'll use a car for a three minute drive, a three minute uh, walk, so it's like a 30 second drive. Now, would you use a, a plane to get from here to there? Of course not, but would you walk? Sure. Now let's say that you set a medium sized goal, like, okay, I don't aim for just that 3000, that would save me, please, I just need that bit of money, again, scarcity, but let's move to a conservative type of goal where you think, oh, uh, I'll just, um, I just, I, I want to have an extra 100,000 a year, or, or uh, I want to be a millionaire when I'm older. Now, of course, we, uh, I don't just mean money, you know, fuck money. I mean, I mean everything. I mean, I just want to be this happier. I just want to have a nice house. I just want to be this famous or this successful. I'm not looking for massive success. No, no, I just want this much success. I just need that much success, okay? So conservative everything. It doesn't matter which area you're talking about. Don't just consider money. We're talking about goals. Um, you know, I just want to lose this much pounds. I just want to be this much healthy. I don't want to be the best or I don't want to be like super, super healthy. No, just this much. So when you set these kinds of goals, if it's the medium size, well, you know, that's analogous to taking uh, the car. Uh, because if you're going to take a trip that takes a 10 minute drive, 15 minute drive, 20 minute drive, uh, obviously, you know, you're not going to walk that distance. Uh, you could, but it's not really effective. It's kind of a waste of time. Um, so you'll use the car. Now, let's say that you're aiming really, really big. Like, I want to be 
mega, mega famous. I want to be super successful. I want to be super famous. I want to be super healthy. I want to have mega relationships. Everything is, is big. And it's not big because I told you. It's big because why the fuck not? Like, let's aim big. What's going to happen is that when you aim big, you're probably going to go big. And then you're going to take uh, the, the fastest vehicle you can afford. Uh, might be an airplane for our, for our analogy. But, you know, for, for practical sake, it just means you'll take the most amount, like the biggest amount of massive action you can take. Uh, if you Do you think that if you just need that extra $2,000 a month, uh, you're gonna take massive action, like real, real, real massive action? Most likely not, because th these kinds of goals, they don't inspire, they're, they're, they're goals out of necessity, out of need. So you actually aim for, you know, just an extra $3,000, you're probably gonna get to an extra thousand, ex extra 2,000, and then now, now that you have that extra money, it, it doesn't feel as urgent anymore, because you kind of got a bit better, you see, but if you aim really big, uh, you know, I mean, you, you, you can make an extra million and you'll still say, okay, wow, I'm, I'm still super far away. Now, I'm not saying, you know, never be satisfied in the sense that don't love your life, like don't enjoy it until you have everything in the world. Like, no, that's not the point. It's not to always be like chasing stuff. The point is that you aim really far and then you keep going. The, the movement is actually very, very enjoyable. It's not like uh, something that you suffer. You know, I don't suffer because uh, even though I have a good body already, I keep going to the gym and getting even better. I don't suffer because uh, even though I am getting clients and everything is really cool, I want to be even bigger and I'm not even 1% uh, at my potential yet or at least at my goals, which when I get to them, I'll probably think, oh, I want, I want it even bigger now. So. The bigger the goal, uh, the bigger the vehicle, or the faster the vehicle, that you'll use to get to the goal. So the irony is that the guy who needs $2,000 and aims for that, he actually uh, will take more time if he even reaches that much uh, money uh, when you compare him to the guy who aims for 100000 And the guy who aims for 100000 is going to get the 2000 even slower probably than the guy who aims for $100 million because the higher you aim the bigger you think and the more actions you're going to take because it inspires you more again don't set goals from the head I, I used to make that mistake like oh when i make this much money then i'll be happy no I, i'm talking about goals that already just thinking about them makes you happy like for me thinking about being famous is like fuck yeah like i just thinking about it i feel good thinking about being healthy fuck yeah thinking about being kind of mindful and present, fuck yeah. Like, how do you think I meditate an hour every day with so easily? It's because I, I love the goal. I, it's just, it's a massive goal. I don't want to be a bit more in the moment. I want to be like, bam, you know? And it's not that I won't be happy until then, it's that I ha I'm happy pursuing it. That's why on the, uh, sorry for all the Americans, if I'm mistaken, I'm so sorry. But that's why uh, in, the, in the Bill of Rights, I think, Constitution, Bill of Rights, in one of them, oh, in the Declaration of Independence, <laughs> uh, there's the saying, the pursuit of happiness, the right for the pursuit of happiness. Uh, maybe it was intentional, maybe it was a mistake, maybe you thought happiness is something you actually reach at some point, but no, the, the pursuit of what makes you happy is the happiness. <laughs> It's, uh, it's, a very, um, it's a very cool thing. Like going after the things that make you happy makes you happy. Uh, and then getting them makes you even happier. And sometimes you don't get them and that makes you a bit less happy. But, but just going after them in general makes you happy. The mistake that most people make is that they go after things that are, that from a scarcity standpoint, that will prevent pain. So when you always focus on preventing pain, then... Uh, the further along you get, the more you're like, okay, I have to prevent this pain even more. Oh my God, it, it's not stopping. I have, I need even more prevention, more. But when you go after what makes you happy, what, what right now makes you, makes you happy, not possibly theoretically in the future, but just thinking about it makes you happy. Then, uh, you know, it's like, oh, I'm so happy. I'm going after what I want. And then you, you get a bit of it. You're like, oh my God, I'm getting some of it. So that's amazing. And then you get more of it. You go, oh my God, I get more. 
and it's just an upward cycle of, of increasing happiness you know with obvious ups and downs because we're human but yeah it's, it's, a, it's a journey towards up not towards uh, conservation or, or escaping pain so uh, I hope this makes a lot of sense uh, I hope you understand now why it's better to set big goals than just have regular goals again there's really no drawback to setting big goals uh, the people who actually were burned or had like a bad experience with setting big goals are always the people that had the pain type of goals that I'm talking about you know like oh if this works I'll be happy and then they failed and then they were miserable but you know when you have something that makes you happy like oh I love doing music okay so aim big at it but why aim for 10 people uh, hearing you why not aim for a hundred thousand because uh, again you aim for a hundred thousand well you you're going to start thinking bigger naturally and taking more action simply for the fact that it makes you more happy and more excited to think about it. Not because like, oh my God, it's even bigger. I have to reach it. Oh no, it's, I have to take more. No, 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 no. It's because, oh my God, this is so amazing. This is so cool. This is bigger. If this is possible, that's so awesome. I need to check it out. I want to do it. It's amazing. That's the kind of place that you want to be getting from, uh, not the hurt type of place. Again, I hope this makes sense. Um, and thanks for watching. Feel free to ask me any questions and uh, tell me what you think.